it seemed, and you can feel free to disagree, but you were flat across the board throughout the game today. You know, no, so, no. no, I'm saying what's ironic about that is this was the most energized that the team's been in the locker room uh, during pregame warm-ups. And, uh, you know, it just, we, uh, you know, for, for, for what I, I think the past five weeks we can, you know, look at our performance and say, you know, you know, we've made progress. And, and I felt today was the first time in, in a long time and there were bright spots, things we did well in all three phases that, uh, you know, we're not walking off the field and we weren't within one, one score in the fourth quarter with a chance to win it. And I think, you know, as a football team, we didn't, we didn't take a positive step today. Did you tell those guys that? Or Absolutely. Yeah. What was their reaction? That's truth. So uh, I don't want much of a reaction. I think they agreed with it. It's, you know, I kind of equated it to a, like I said, we talk about what we're building. There's days when you show up and the sun's shining and, you know, your crew's early and the tools are laid out and, and everything falls according to plan and you, you walk off at the end of the day and you feel like you've, you've done a good job. And, and there's days when it's raining and the crew's, you know, for whatever reason, not functioning well as a unit. And, you know, you do something and you have to redo it and you walk off and you feel you haven't made a ton of progress. And I think that's what it is today. We're going to have to identify, you know, how and why and, uh, you know, work to fix what went wrong today before we could take another, another positive step forward. DJ had the numbers, yeah. but it didn't seem like there was much flow there. Was that a Red Hawks thing? Was he just out of sorts or a combination of both? Yeah, I'd say a little bit of both. You know, we, we with our inability to run the football puts a lot of pressure, you know, on the quarterback and the wideouts and the receivers in the, in the pass game. And, uh, you know, this was a unit that was giving up 17 points a game and 310 yards in Mac play. So we, we knew they were a good defense. So we knew it was going to be you know, a, a, a difficult game in terms of uh, scoring points, uh, you know, although we did move the ball. So yeah, it did seem like we had a ton of, uh, as you mentioned, a lot of flow, you know, a lot of, uh, you, know, you know, just we, we, weren't, we, weren't, we, weren't, we weren't clicking. What it should have could have. The offense, I think your defense played well enough to win today. Yeah. In the second half, I, would, I agree with that. And what was the difference there? Defensively? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they, they, uh, they, we didn't give up as many explosive plays in the second half. Uh, I think he threw for 172 in the first half, and not much after that. You know, they were, had the lead, and you know, we're playing well on uh, on defense. And uh, you know, we gave up the field goal, and uh, you know, obviously the, the seven points on uh, the interception. So I think uh, we did a better, better job uh, keeping the explosive pass plays down, and, and you know, much better job against the run. Um, where are you, what do you think you are in the process right now? You, 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 that's a, a term you keep talking about. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I think we took a step back today. You know, how big, I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, I felt we had, we, we practiced well during the week, you know, had good meetings, the kids were energized, but, you know, the, uh, the ability to play complementary football, right? We talk about the determining factor in games, explosive plays and turnovers, third down and red zone. I think we were good with explosive plays for and against and good on third down. We were six, you know, six of 16, which isn't great, but it's better than two of 12. But we, we, we turn the ball over with frequency and we don't create any. I mean, I, I can't remember the last time, you know, that we created a turnover, maybe Bowling Green. Uh, we had an interception. It's been a minute. So when, when, you're a team that's going into a game as an underdog. You got to find ways to generate field position, generate points, you know, generate momentum. And uh, we didn't do that, along with you know not being able to capitalize on our, on our red zone scoring opportunities offensively.